Now that more people are getting the COVID vaccine, especially those most at risk for getting really sick, when could our lives start getting back to normal? Right, medical reporter Meg Ferris takes a look at what the vaccine can and cannot change. Let's start with what we know about the COVID vaccine. It's highly effective to prevent severe sickness, but we don't know if it prevents getting the virus and spreading it, nor do we know how long it protects you. It could be a matter of years, you know, uh, we're, we're hoping, and there's some indication that it's not going to be like the flu vaccine, that it is going to be longer. We know the virus mostly hurts seniors and people with health conditions. That's who's being vaccinated now. So doctors are hoping and expecting to see hospitalizations and deaths go down in that vulnerable group. And then we'll know that the vaccine is having the impact that we expect it to have in the community. And that would probably start hopefully showing up in March. So when the high risk community is vaccinated, but those unlikely to have symptoms or get sick or not, do bars, restaurants and schools stay closed? I, honestly, I think there's a delicate balance there. At what point do you, you know, I think that's a valid point. But the doctors point out there are still low risk people with poor outcomes to consider, like the late Congressman elect Luke Ledlow and others have long term health side effects. At least 40 percent of people don't plan to get the vaccine, yet we keep hearing 70 to 80 percent of us need the vaccine for community protection or herd immunity. You're going to have a lot of people who refuse to get the vaccine. At what point do we go on living our normal lives and not wait for the people who choose not to get a vaccine? Don't have an easy answer for that. We're at a little bit of a quandary right now in terms of what the impact of these vaccinations are going to have on transmission and acquisition of the virus. That, I think, plays an important role in when is it enough? So as doctors learn more, answers to our questions will become more clear. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Well, vaccines are not currently mandated, but doctors do speculate that if jobs or entertainment venues start requiring them, that would be an incentive for people to get one.